Hello providers and families, my name is Grace Jensky and I am one of the Early Learning Quality Improvement Coach with Solano County of Education. Families and providers, each child between three to five years old will get their own coding quarter bot to take home. At the bottom of this video, I will provide the minutes and seconds for each critter's demonstration so you can fast forward and watch the correlating coding bot that you have. Your child would either get a Code and Learn Ladybug, Rumble and Bumble Dinosaurs, Ranger and Zip the Dogs, and Scamper and Sneaker Kitty Cats. And we can't forget the Bee Bot, which is a cute little bumblebee. So the first things I want to show you that comes um, inside of the coding critter the box are these really cute coding storybooks so there is one for scamper and sneaker and we have one for rumble and bumble and then ranger and zip okay and um it's really cute these little storybooks um, you can read it aloud to the children and right down here on each page it does give you some instructions on how to um, what buttons to press and what commands to give to your critter to allow them to interact with all the other things that come um, in the box which you will see um, after this video okay so along with the storybooks is the quick start user guide so let's go ahead and take a look um, again this is all the same for all three of the critters so this this quick start guide is the same for the the kitty cat the dinosaur and the dog okay so let's move that aside so we have let's face it this way we have the nose switch right here so all the nose each nose does press it is a button the forward let's face it this way actually we have forward we have right reverse left turn and then the middle button is the go button okay so again these are the buttons you're going to press to code it and program it to move whichever way you want it to move okay going to the second page um, on the left hand side is the code mode okay and i just mentioned i just shared what what each button was so again it talks about forward reverse right uh, left no switch and then i forgot to mention on the bottom this is the power switch underneath and then right in front is the alignment the wheel alignment you will find that over time as the critter starts moving around sometimes the wheel will become unaligned and so you will have to turn it left and right to make sure that when you are coding it and programming it to turn left right straight or reverse it does what you what it, what you want it to do um, okay one thing to keep in mind too is um, the go button is the same function to clear it so after you've input um, some codes and programmed it if you change your mind or you or you want to change it um, you must hit the center button to swipe it clean so that you can start a new code now if you look closely there here's a code here that says forward forward right and if you look at the arrow excuse me the um, line it goes forward and right when you turn make a right turn it's the same with the left and it does tell you up here when you're coding your critter to make a left or right turn it will go forward and then right or forward or forward then left then forward then right it does not make a sharp right turn it does not make a sharp left turn okay now on to the play mode so once you're in play mode the functions of these buttons on top are will change so right here it says in order to go in play mode let's turn on our friend scamper Okay, you are to hold the nose for about two seconds and the light turns on and that indicates that you are now in play mode. Okay, so I'm not going to push the button just yet, but right here it tells you the forward button turns into feed, the reverse button turns into patrol, the dance, uh, the right button turns into dance, the left button turns into nap time, and the center button is pet right so okay. here are the items that come in each of the coding critter so you have your um, dinosaur here your dog and then your cat is on this side and as you can see they each have a slide um, they each have a house that comes with it um, and then here's your your animals and then here are the little 
um, critters. So this is Sneaker, this is Zip, and this is Bumble, okay? Um, and then they each come with little uh, magnetic toys. So each of the little critters do attach to the mouth sets, and that's how they um, play together, and that would be in play mode, okay? Um, and then each of the kit has um, these paw prints and these are called the command codes so if you look at the one of the booklets here you'll see that it's called let's focus command so use forward commands to code scamper to find her ball so each of them comes with their own command and they one looks like a dinosaur paw print and we have the um, doggy and the cat paw print that looks similar okay so now you see what comes in your kit and then next I'm going to show you how to code the critter um, with the buttons on top and I'll also show you how to go into play mode to um, have the critters play with the um, other items in the kit. All right. Okay, so now I've already set up my coding commands. And I have Rumble here who's going to be coded to follow these commands. So first thing I'm going to do is turn it on. And now he's on. I'm going to um, have him go forward, 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 reverse, and then turn right. Okay, so forward, 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 reverse, turn right, and then I'm going to hit go. You can't see him but there he is he did the one two three four five step command and um, something that I forgot to mention is that you can do up to 30 codes for the command okay so let's uh, clear the code and uh, turn it off for the meantime so that is how you can code and it goes the same for all three of these critters all right so now I'm going to show you how to get into play mode I'm gonna turn it back on and you're going to push on the nose of each of the critters. So you can push the dog's nose here, the cat's nose here, and the dinosaur's nose here. And let's watch it turn into play mode. And there's a light, it is illuminated, and now you're in play mode. So as I mentioned before, the functions of the four buttons on top um, are now different. They do not go forward, reverse, left, or right. They all have something different. So to remind myself, I'm gonna go back into the quick start guide going to open it up let me get it to focus and what do we want it to do let's just try all of them we're gonna have it feed do a patrol do a dance uh, nap time and then pet okay oops come back here and there we go so let me get this to brighten up a bit there we go so let's see this is to feed and you can hear it Okay, and then we have patrol. Just checking out the area. We have a dance. Ooh, he's, he's dancing. He's going. Oh, he's being a rumble. Okay, let's get you back here, rumble. Um, and now he let's listen to nap time. Okay, and then. Uh, pet and that is the sound it makes when you hit the pet button okay so that is in play mode and in to get out of play mode you're gonna hold it down again till the light turns off and now you're um, no longer in play mode and now you're gonna be um, coding you can now code it into um, other whoops directions okay rumble let's turn you off The next coding bot that we have is the B-Bot. And this is different than the coding critters that I showed earlier because this one is a rechargeable, programmable floor robot. So it does come with its own charger and it does have um, a small little user guide, just a couple pages. And this is what the B-Bot looks like as it, when it comes out, okay? So underneath you will find the chargeable socket and right here they do it does have three power switches so this one is for the on and off switch for the sound 
This is the on and off switch for the sensor, and this is the on and off switch for the robot itself. Okay, all right, so let's take a look at the user guide. And right here, recharging your B-Bot, um, it does say when you first turn it on, um, there's different lights that indicate different things. So if the eyes are flashing red, the B-Bot battery is low and requires charging. If the eyes um, light up solid red, that means it is charging after you've plugged it in. And then if once it turns um, solid green, that means the B-Bot is fully charged. So luckily for us, when I turned this on, uh, we did put in brand new batteries. The light was solid green, which we'll show you in a bit. Okay, um, something really neat about this is that this B-Bot can have up to 200 programmable codes. So you can press these buttons up to 200 times and press go and it'll follow through and execute all um, turns that you've inputted. Um, once you've reached a max of 200 codes in it, um, it will be full and you will no longer be able to put any more. So in order to clear it, you press X, okay? And what we can do is we'll, I'll go ahead and show you how to put in a little um, few commands and have it programmed to go out and come back to me. And with this, just like the um, coding critters, um, after each command is done, it will pause for a moment and then turn or reverse whatever your, your command was before it goes to the next move. All right, so let's turn each of it on. Okay, so this, and you probably can't see it with the lighting, but this is showing um, a solid green. Okay, so let's try and get this B-Bot to go forward and turn right and then right again and then come back to me. So let's see, maybe we'll think about three forwards. the two right turns and one two and three and so it executed my commands that I've input now if you want to reset and make a brand new code you would have to press X and it'll swipe it clean um, if you do not hit X and you start pushing more buttons and then go, it will not start from your new, um, it'll start from the very, very first code you put in. So I had pressed it three times forward, right, right, and then three times again forward. That's going to execute its uh, the movements plus the ones you've added on. So again, it goes up to 200, so it's gonna go from the very beginning. If you don't want it to do that, it's important to press um, X to keep it, swipe it clean. Um, and the nice thing with this too is that you can actually add more um, B-Bots or bots to it if you'd like. Okay, and don't forget to turn it off when you are done and then charge it as needed. And that's that's pretty much it for this B-Bot. This is much simpler than the other two. It doesn't come with all the extra gadgets, but um, you can still program it however you like. So if you want to take a look again and see what else is inside, um, pretty easy read. Okay, and that is that for the B-Bot. So this is the last coding critter that um, will be given out to your child. And this is the Code and Learn Leaning Ladybug. Um, so this is very different than the last two that I showed you. So we can see back here, uh, the coding critter and the B-Bot are very different. So the ladybug um, actually has um, a beginner and intermediate and advanced level. It does come with its own controller. It comes with a play mat and the um, bot itself. Um, it also comes with 25 cards. And these 25 cards um, are directional cards um, to use with the playmat and the bot itself. So if you go and look on this side of the box, um, you're gonna be coding it just like the other ones, creating program, and it does develop a logical thinking. So this is a great STEM product. 
So when we go in the back, it does tell you that there are two play modes um, and you can put up to 30 commands. It does have its remote control and auto shut off. And what that means is after 45 seconds of the um, robot and controller not being in use, it shuts off by itself. However, once you do move it, it turns back on. So although it's shut off, it's important to still um, flip the switch to the off button and it does have fun, fun sound effects and then there's your 25 coding activity cards included um, I will be taking I will be um, making a video for you to show how you can use this um, ladybug okay and then right here I did open up one for you to see um, it's a bit challenging to unpack that's something I wanted to share I did have to um, really really rip the box open so here's the mat and here's the um, quick start guide the mat does have weights on the, each corner so that you can lay it flat you do have to have it completely flat um, without wrinkles as much as possible so that the robot can move about and here's the controller this is censored um, this is the go button this is a clear button and this is your coding buttons and this is your ladybug here is the on and off button right up here and the sensor is right here at the nose okay um, and then here's your 25 cards um, and I read the manual just a little bit but, um, earlier and the green is the beginner level and I'll go ahead and show you this um, this uh, programming in just a second okay before I continue to show how to code the ladybug um, it is important to read the uh, the booklet that comes with it otherwise it's not going to do what you want it to do and what it's made to do so if you look here on page three um, it says important information regarding your activity mat it is important to have it as flat as possible so you'll see with the mat that I have it does have wrinkles right now because I just opened it but try and get it um, flat as possible and when you do that it's important to have the ladybug facing in the direction in which the mat is facing so if you look at it right you're facing it and all the letters excuse me are facing you and you want to make sure that the ladybug is also doing the same thing otherwise when you code it it will get confused and start going in the directions you don't want it to go to so please make sure that it is flat and that you place the ladybug in the correct dis uh, position so that when the coding is programmed into the robot um, it goes in the right direction okay and that's something I wanted to share okay so we're gonna uh, do the beginning um, level cards and so the first card we're gonna pick is this one so it says start and then we're gonna place the ladybug on blue three and then we're gonna put program in these coding and press go so first we're gonna find number blue three which is right there so I'm put the ladybug there and as a reminder we wanted to make sure that the mat is not uh, wrinkly it's still a bit wrinkly so we'll do our best so here's the code and we're gonna press left one time nope I'm gonna turn it back on okay. so left and then four times going straight and then go so let's see So you did see that it started veering off to the right and that just means that the mat is um, wrinkly so that's something we need to work on. So now I'm going to have my daughter join in just a little bit and I'm going to have her do a certain code so that you can see that this is very kid friendly and that your children will enjoy it. One thing I forgot to mention is that to make to, um, to check to see if you got the right, um, if the ladybug landed on the right square, you turn it over. And there's the answer and it says Y and you can check did the ladybug land on Y and it, yes it would have if the mat wasn't wrinkled but it definitely did the right it was programmed correctly and um, made the right moves okay so 
Um, now I'm gonna have my daughter do a coating, kind of just um, freestyling it. She can pick a card if she needs to, but we're gonna have her um, code the program the ladybug to go on the letter P, which is right here. So she's gonna have to go up here and right. So she's gonna be coding that and figuring it out. All right, go ahead and code it. Okay. So what buttons are you gonna press? I have to press um um the straight. I have to press forward two times, but then the ladybug will stop on that M. So I have to press this. Which, which, which one? I have to press right once, okay. but then um I'm gonna have to because it's just gonna turn a little bit. I'm gonna have to um, press straight two on the on the three times, and then press go, so it will land on the white P. Okay, so just a second, let me press the button again. As a reminder, if it the ladybug does not program or go to the letter or number that you're trying to have it go to, restart it by pressing the red button and then try flattening out the mat again. Okay, here she goes. Okay, um, so I'm gonna, and then, one more, and then go. Okay. Did it make it? Yeah! All right, so she did it. It programmed, and sorry for the blurriness and shakiness, but she made it. She programmed it from Y up to M over to P, and that was um, her coding. Very nice. On behalf of the Quality Counts Early Learning Team, we encourage you to learn about the coding critter bots and enjoy them with your family. Thank you for watching.